Uh, g'day. Welcome to my instructional video on how to do circular breathing or breathing for the didgeridoo. There's no didgeridoo required for this. Uh, this is not mystical nor magical. We're not breathing in and out at the same time. In fact, the, um, the mouth is used like a bellows. Uh, we close the epiglottis. Um, and using the air in the mouth to blow out while sniffing in or breathing in through the nose at the same time. Uh, if you do try hard, you can be proficient in this uh, breathing technique within three weeks if you practice for about five minutes a day. But if you really, really try hard, you can do it in one day. So it's up to you. And I'll just uh, mention that learning the circular breathing, in fact, is quite quick and easy. But uh, mastering the didgeridoo, well, that's another story. That takes a lifetime. Okay, so starting off, so to practice for the first week, I recommend that you um, uh, do this technique with two hands. Take that off so you can see clearly. So we fill our, our cheeks with air, like so. And we're going to make a sound with the lips by pressing in slowly with the lips. Uh, sorry, with the hands. Like so. So we want to make a, a long, slow consistent sound. So this is the first step, just making the sound. It's like a raspberry sound. Like so. And once we can do that, then we take it to the next step where we uh, breathe in through the nose as we slowly press the cheeks. I'll demonstrate that. So we fill first. I'll do that again. And once more, so we're filling the cheeks, closing the epiglottis, using the air in the mouth to uh, make the sound as we breathe in through the nose. Um, it's a good idea to start with a quick breath through the nose, like a sniff. So ideally, we want a bit of sound coming before the sniff and then after the sniff. I'll do that again. Okay, so that's the basic technique. Uh, by the way, there are other techniques, but this one does seem to work for me. Of um, uh, taught this uh, technique for many years and uh, I've had a lot of success with that. So I recommend practicing that technique for one week and then you can move on to using one hand for another week. I'll demonstrate. And this is all without the didgeridoo. Um, and then for the third week, I uh, tried to do it without the hands, so just using the mouth. Like so. All right. Um, so that's, uh, that's the basic technique. And I'll just finish by saying that um, you know, the didgeridoo has the power of the great rainbow serpent, the creator. It's incredible power. And this power runs through everything. 
So uh, I wish you all the best. Good luck with that. Uh, feel free to let me know how you go or if you have any questions, um, please feel free. So thanks everyone. See you next time. Oh, by the way, I will be making uh, some more instructional videos um, soon. The next one I'll make uh, how to do a basic drone uh, with a didgeridoo. And um, if you would like to um, uh, uh, have a go at um, playing the didgeridoo, you can use a cardboard tube or, um, or a vacuum cleaner hose that uh, works very well. So you don't have to go to the expense of um, finding a real didgeridoo if you, uh, if you can't uh, do that. So see you everyone.